Do you believe that once saved, always saved? Or do you believe a person can lose their salvation? Well, that's what we're discussing today on Morning Meds. So if you're ready, then let's go. Good morning and welcome back to Morning Meds where we meditate on God's word in order to tackle everyday issues that we face as Christians. And if you like what you see on Morning Meds, be sure to subscribe, like, and also share it with a friend so that we can make it through this together with the help of the Lord. Based on my research, I deduce that about 50% of Christians believe that you can lose your salvation. I am here to tell you that you cannot. In order to prove that you cannot lose your salvation, we will be using John chapter 10 verses 28 through 30. And I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My father, which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your redeeming son, Jesus. And we ask you, God, to forgive us for the wrong that we've done, said, and thought. And we, Lord, we ask you to look on us. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to bless our coming, Lord, and not let it be in vain. Bless every person under the sound of my voice and every household represented. We love you, God. We bless your name for all that you've done. Allow us down in the deep treasures of your word so that we may understand and perceive. <laughs> Let's jump right into it. Now, I've already said that you cannot lose your salvation. Why? You cannot lose your salvation because it is a gift. The Lord also says that there is nothing that we could do that could separate us from the love of God. The word of God says that salvation cannot be attained through works so that no man should boast, which means there is nothing you could do to secure your salvation with works. And there is no way that you could take away your salvation through works. Believe in Jesus requires the believer to make consistent and constant decisions that line up with the word of God. Being saved does not exempt us from Christ's correction. It does not exempt us from doing the right thing. All things that are not of God is sin. And every person who has truly accepted Christ as their savior and is now being aided by the Holy Spirit through this walk, there should be an idea of sinning less. No, you cannot lose your salvation, but you are expected. And it is a requirement for us to line up purposely line up with the word of God. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you for your truth. And we thank you, God, that it is irrefutable and undeniable. Even God, even though there are times where we don't line up directly with your word and we don't make sure that our life matches your truth, we ask you, God, to uh, restore us and give us that uh, new breath of fresh fresh life and fresh falling of the Holy Spirit so that we can make decisions that line up with you so we can live a life of true worship to you. We love you, God. We bless you. We need you, God. Bless everyone represented. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> 